in the East Indian culture, the Hindu girls will dress themselves in either a sari, a shalwa, or a garara. These two young ladies are wearing a shalwa, and they will tell us a little bit about Diwali. Can we celebrate Diwali? It is the festival of light. The light is to symbolize light over darkness. Another aspect of the East Indian culture is celebrated by Muslims. Muslims traditionally, both men and women, need to cover their head. The men wear a topi and the women will wear hijab. One of the most joyous day in the Islamic calendar is Eid al-Fitr, also known as Eid al-Hara or Eid. Eid al-Fitr is celebrated after Ramadan. Ramadan is celebrated by Muslim. We fast for 40 days since 4 o'clock in the morning with our food and water for 6 o'clock in the evening. Another festival celebrated by the Hindus is that of Pagwa. Pagwa marks the beginning of the Hindu calendar at the start of spring. Pagwa, it, Pagwa is celebrated with ex exotic colors which represents the flowers in spring. In plain Pagwa we dab others with colored paint called Abhin. <laughs> <laughs> in the Spanish culture, the ladies are usually well dressed in beautiful, bright colors. We will hear a little bit about the Spanish culture. The festival of Christmas was brought to Trinidad when Christopher Columbus came. It is a part of the Spanish culture. The music of Param is played with the marks. It is also a part of the Spanish culture. Without social studies, we would not have been able to appreciate the various cultures that, that make up our cosmopolitan country. Knowing about artifacts from our ancestors gives us a window into their past, their hobbies, jobs, their lives. Teaching this is an integral part of social studies. From this presentation, we can observe that our Carib and Arawak ancestors used clay, stone, semi-precious metals to make dishes, bowls, jars, ornaments, fish hooks and axes, which they used in their daily lives. Without having to teach social studies, I myself would not have known this. Social studies is important. Of course, but let's talk about that later. The bell is about to ring. Well, 
Without social studies, I would not have thought about that. We really do need social studies. Climate is the overall pattern of weather conditions at a particular place over a long period of time. Climate can affect where and how people live. Trinidad and Tobago has a tropical climate as we are in the area close to the equator. The climate is usually hot and wet throughout the year. There are specific, there are separate wet and dry seasons. Another type of climate is the temperate climate. These regions have warm summer, cold winter, rain and snow. They experience the four seasons of winter, spring, summer and autumn. The countries such as the United States of America and Europe have these temperatures. Five. Weather. Weather is a state of the atmosphere at any particular time and place. Many of our daily activities depending on the conditions of the weather. It is especially important to know what the weather will be like when planning for your other activities. Weather is concerned with factors such as temperature, rain, clouds and wind. We can describe the weather as being sunny, rainy, cloudy or windy. Without social studies, I would not have known that there is such a big difference between weather and climate. Social studies is so important. Past presidents and past prime ministers would come under history. Brianna Nathaniel would have done this project and she will flip through and we'll get to look at some of the things she researched Dr. Eric Williams our first Prime Minister Who was the second Prime Minister, Brianna? George Chambers. George Chambers. Flip again. Who was our third Prime Minister? Ian Robinson. So she would have done her research and gotten some pictures. Next we had Mr. Patrick Manning. And Mr. Basdale Pandey. And currently we have Miss Kamala Hassad Bissessa, who is our first woman Prime Minister, past president. Sir Alice Clark was our first president. Who was our second president? Nur so We have Mr. Nur Hassan Ali. So she went through some magazines, got clippings. Now we have our third president, Mr. A.N.R. Robinson. And what's unique about Mr. A.N.R. Robinson, Brianna? He was a president and a prime minister. Right. George Maxwell Richards, our next president. And our current president is Mr. Anthony Thomas Carmona. So he says, helps us learn about history. Without doing this project, I wouldn't have learned so much about our past prime ministers and past presidents. The rights of the child would come under law. The Children's Charter. 
there shall be peace on earth, but not until each child shall daily eat his fill. Go warmly clad against the winter wind, and learn his lesson with a tranquil wind. And thus released from hunger, fear and need regardless of his color, race or creed, Look up a smiling at the skies, his faith in man reflected in his eyes. In the 1950s, the world's leaders began to speak up about the general condition of children in many developed and developing countries. There was widespread hunger, malnutrition, neglect, abuse and lack of educational opportunities for many of the world's children. This problem was brought before the UN and in 1959, the United Nations adopted the Declaration of the Rights of the Child. The right to equality regardless of race, color, sex, religion, national or social origin. The right to develop physically and mentally in a healthy manner. The right to a name and nationality. The right to adequate nutrition, housing, and medical services. The right to special care and handicap. The right to love, understanding, and protection. The right to freedom, education, to play, and recreation. The right to be among the first and receive relief in times of disaster. The right to protection against all forms of neglect, cruelty, and exploitation. The right to be brought up in the spirit of tolerance, peace, and universal justice. I now know about my rights as a child. Without social studies, I would not have known that social studies is important. We govern ourselves. What type of government have we? In Trinidad and Tobago, we have a democratic government that is what chosen by the people, from the people, and for the people. A democratic government is chosen by free and fair elections and guarantees certain rights and freedoms such as freedom of speech, movement, and association, religious freedom, and equality for the law. Choosing our government. According to the Constitution of Trinidad and Tobago, general elections must be held every five years to elect a new government. The electorate casts their votes by use of secret ballots. Elections for a new government for our country will be held later this year. The political parties are UNC, United National Congress. The leader is Mrs. Kamala Kosabi Sessa. PNM, People National Movement. The leader is Mr. Keith Crowley, ILP, Independent Labour Party. The leader is Mr. Jack. Without social studies, I would not have known this. Social studies is important. Because it was my birthday. My, my birthday. birthday. Thank awesome. you. Bye. 
So what did you like for the rest of your vacation? I was like, I went to the beach and to the mall. Oh look, look Shanique was fine. I wonder what's the problem. Hold on, hold on. I'll go and see. What happened? Last week Friday it was my birthday. I'm mommy and I didn't have no money to buy my cakes. And I ain't you know, only talking about all your birthday and my birthday was the and my and my notification was the worst. Oh that's so sad. I have a plan. Really? Yes. So they get together and hatch a plan to try to cheer up Shaniqua. Let's see what this plan entails. Our garden cleanup. Bed. We have others harvesting peppers, some picking up trash, cleaning grow boxes. Going to refurbish some of these pots. 